All right. Now, welcome, everybody. My name is Fausto Puglisi from Cybertrain University, and hopefully you enjoyed a little quick little intro of some of the traders that we basically trained over the years. And today, hopefully, I'm going to change your life because I'm going to show you how to trade today's volatile markets and some of the greatest tools that we use for today. Now, how do I know this? Because I was a market maker. I live here in New York. I was trained by some of the best traders in the world. I am one of the oldest trading. Um, we, we, we are basically one of the oldest top three trading schools in today's industry. We're endorsed by every brokerage firm uh, in the day trading community and a lot of the brokerage firms that you probably have accounts with. And we're going to show you why, because it's all about knowing how to play the game. And that's a big mistake that a lot of people have. Um, there's a couple of great stocks that we traded. I want to talk about it. Um, you know, I want, I want to get to know a little bit about you. And then the ultimate goal is today is I want to talk for about a little less than an hour. And I'm going to invite every single one of you to come and join my professional trading room that I started almost 30 years ago. And uh, what I like to do is um, do something a little different than some previous ones. I want to show you what I'm talking about. Um, you could probably see it right here. And we are closed right now. The market is closed. We're not showing anything on the right. But I want you to look over here on this area right here. You see what says diamond, platinum. These are all my students and traders. And you can see um, right here up on top, when I'm pointing this out right here, which is Josh, one of the instructors, those are the stocks on our watch list. Now, you're going to get all this access at the end, and I'm going to show you. But the big thing I want to show you is this. Do you see the number one stock up there? It's called A-T-E-R, and we, we, did, we do a, uh, an event. We do two broadcasts, for, uh, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. This is our afternoon trading hours. And if you look at the number one stock on there, A-T-E-R, I want to bring this over to you. I want to show you something pretty cool. All right? Oops. Hold on one second. Could everyone see this okay? Can everybody see this? This is A-T-E-R, and Josh, our instructor, when he was doing his meeting, it was right around this time, around 2.30, right there. And you could see that the stock went from $4.40, and look what happened the last 30 minutes. It ran from 4.40 all the way up to about 5.20, and right now it's still running in the after hours, okay? Did anybody trade the stock this afternoon? Nobody here traded it. No one saw it. Okay? Let's think about this for a second. If you bought 1,000 shares of that stock, and you bought it the last 30 minutes, and right now it's at 4.30, and right now it's at 5.30, if you just made half, half of that money, 50 cents, $500, $100,000 salary, who doesn't want that job? And what I'm going to show you is this. How do we know the stock was going higher? Because we have the tools we're going to teach you how to follow the money. And that's where it comes down to it. We're going to talk about something called level three and level four. Now, if that does not spark your interest, then I'm wasting your time. You probably should log out of the room right now because obviously if you want to learn how to follow, find these stocks and why they go up and why they do, this is what we're looking to do. Then, then you definitely want to stick around because I'm going to invite every one of you to join me in that trading room. But before we get started, just a quick little warning. I just want to let you know, it's, um, there's no, going to be no guarantees, no promises, no warranties, and, you know, and, you know uh, future results, are not a, you know, like I said, are not, are not always guaranteed. So please make sure that if you're going to trade in today's market, you could, you could, you know, you could lose almost all of it. So just be smart about it, okay? Now, this is what we're going to learn. All right, we're going to learn how to follow the smart money. We're going to talk about how to use something called NASDAQ Total View. Hold on, let me get my little crayon here so you guys can follow along. We're going to talk about why 90% of the traders fail. We're going to talk about why every trader needs to use something called time and sales. And we're also going to talk about how to read charts correctly because some of you here are reading them backwards. All right, and that's what we're going to talk about. But before we get started, um, I want to get to know a little bit about all of you, all right? And could, I'm just going to do a quick poll. I'm going to send this out. And could you guys just tell me, are you a stock trader, options, futures, Forex, 
let me just see if you guys could just tell me a little bit about you, see what kind of traders we got all in the room. Got to be very an investor, you know, something like that. Now, as you everyone's filling that out, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm an actual day trader. Um, I love teaching people. I do also do some swing trading, some long-term trading. But um, what I've learned as a day trader is that if you know what's happening over the course of the day, you will know how to be more of an options trader, more of a swing trader, all that good stuff. And that's why people fail because, listen, if, you don't, if you're not in the trenches and understand you know, who's bidding it up and who's dumping it and why you always hear buy on rumors, sell on news, you're always going to be chasing. Now, um, like I mentioned earlier, I've been doing this for over 25 years. I don't know if some of you know who I am. Just a quick little background on me. Um, I've trained some of the biggest traders in the industry. I featured on some of the biggest TV shows in the industry. But the reason, and I'm also, you know, like I said, partners with some of the biggest brokerage firms. I do education for all, you know, some of the biggest brand names in the country, in the world, actually. And the reason why that is is this. Um, to be a good trader, you need mentors. Now, for some of you here, you're probably asking, Fausto, okay, you, you, I heard about you. I watched you. If you're such a great trader, why do you teach? Well, because what I've learned over the years is that to be a good trader, you have to surround yourself with good traders. All right? You can't go out there and compete and think you're going to sit at home and do it. So what I'm looking for today is I want to – Find some people out there, maybe some of you in the crowd right now, that are looking to f find a team that you could trade with. Because over the years, when I train my traders, eventually they graduate and they'll open up their own schools. Maybe they'll run their own trading room. So I don't hold any hostage. I'm not here to sell you an indicator. I'm not here to lock you in. But like any, every other successful school, hopefully you go out there and progress and go on and teach somebody else. Now, how I learned how to do this, like I said, um, I was actually – I started the first trading room in today's industry, and you see they're all over the place. But you're going to be invited to the original one like I just showed you before um, and how we were trading that stock, A-T-E-R, and how we, we spot those stocks. I'm going to show you all that, and you're all going to have access to it at the end. Um, but like I told you, I'm here to make sure that this is for you or not. All right? Now. Um, how did I get started? Like I said, I started when I was 22 years old. I've been doing this for over 30 years now. And where I and how I started is I lived here in New York. I was trained by some of the best traders in the world. Why is that? Because before I learned how to be very successful, I was a very successful loser. What I mean by that is I lost a lot of money in trading because I went out there and thought I can go do it myself. I didn't need to be trained like most people out there that fail in today. All right. And if you're that person and now you obviously you're here today, maybe you realize, you know what, maybe I should get a guru. Maybe I should get mentored. And you're here to do an interview and want to make sure that we're the right fit for you. But at the end, it's not for everybody, and we'll, believe me, we'll tell you if, it's not, uh, if it is or if it's not. But my, father, my parents came here from Italy. I was first-generation Italian, and my dad says, listen, you want to be successful in business? It's a great country. There's great opportunity. You go out there, and you find the best person out there, the best company, and no matter what it takes or what it costs you, if you love what you do, you find the same people have the same passion that you do, and by surrounding yourself with good people, you'll be very successful in that industry. And by living here in New York, we know that this is the financial capital of the world. I did exactly what my parents did, and that's why I'm here today, and that's hopefully I'm going to pass that same knowledge over to you. So I've been married for over – just to show you a little quick, I've been married for almost 25 years now. This is my lovely family, and uh, I really think – you know that the main thing why I became and been married so long is that because I had a very successful business, I'm able to travel with my, my family and do things. But I got two families. I got this family and I have my trading family. And hopefully one of you are going to be exactly like the people you see right here. And, and these are the grandmas, the grandpas, the engineers, the oil and gas people, the used car salesmen, the border control people, the cowboys. I mean, I can go on and on and on. Real estate, traders, um, but the entrepreneurs, the, like I said, these people are just like you, and they failed 
like most of you out there. And my goal is this to teach you not how to make money, but how to stop losing it. And that's going to really be the start of why we're here. So let's get right into it. and Let's begin. Did anybody see the stock um, V-E-R-U yesterday? Just out of curiosity. Anybody see the stock? V-E-R-U. Just give me a yes or no in the chat. Lori, you didn't. Okay. Simon, you didn't. Listen. Okay. I'm going to stop here for a second. There are almost 100 people in this room. If you can't answer this question, okay, you're not doing yourself any, any favors. Just be very honest. Okay? It's a quick yes or no. Pay attention because... I am here to take the time to teach you guys why you need to stop losing money, all right? Did you or did you not see VERU? Okay, Adi did. Most of you didn't. Okay, good. Thank you. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Um, So if not, prepare to be blown away, all right? VERU went up about 200%, all right? Look at it right here. Stock went from five dollars in the pre-market, seven, seven thirty, eight, eight thirty, nine o'clock. Then it, it, right, we start we start trading around eight o'clock in the morning. I want you to look over here. Okay, now these are all students. Look at these students. Got in at six forty. Got out at nine fifty. John S. Gary V. Got in at eleven thirty-seven. Got in. Got out at twelve. Uh, Martinez got in, look, made 52 cents. He got all the way, all the way down at 610. These people that you're looking at right now, this is not two weeks ago. This is not a year ago, okay? This was yesterday. And you're going to meet these same people, and hopefully I can make you one of them because this is why we trade. Now, all this begins in the pre-market. Do, do any of you guys follow me on Twitter? Or better yet, any of you, any, any of you ever go on YouTube? Rock, you do? Okay. So you can go on our Twitter feed. You can go on our YouTube feed. I prefer YouTube um, because you get to watch the videos. Watch and go out and see that. You see this little underline right here? Let me show you right here. Right there. See that right there? There's the stock right there. Look at the time right here. 7.47 was out there. Now, there was a lot of other stocks that moving, but that was the big mover, okay? <laughs> Lori, you signed up on my website regarding my chickens. Did you like me, Lori? Okay, because everything could help. Yes, good, good, good. Well, you know what? Not to change the subject, but let me tell you something, Lori. Um, I have a home living channel. You know why? Because I got the free time to do it because I make my money and trade all day, and then all I do is I like to cook, I like to garden, I like to boat. Isn't that awesome? And I, hopefully, Lori, I can make you one and everyone else out there because, like I told you, this is, the part, this is what, why people like trading. They love the freedom. They like to be their own boss. You know, when we get older, no one's hiring on us, okay? And a lot of us made six figures. No one's hiring a six-figure person, all right? You know, so – and a lot of us are not going to give our money to, to some – Somebody a trader for us. So, you know what? Why not do it our own? Especially, we know Social Security is not paying enough. Now, let me just clear this out and get back to the slide. So, how do we find the stock? <laughs> I'm speaking your language, Lori. Well, I hope, I'm, I hope I'm speaking everybody's language because there's a lot of you here. Like yours, Andy, and you, Chuck, and you, Dan, Daniel Hall, you know, Drew, um, Wayland. I see all of you out there. Gary, hopefully you could be one of them. So how do we find these stocks? Okay. All right. So the first thing I want to point out is we scan them. Every, if you look right here, you'll notice that VREU is the biggest percentage gainer on the NASDAQ market. Okay. Now, that's, that's it? The scanner, the big percentage gainer? Yeah, that's it. That's all we need is this scanner. Now, I don't have time to teach you this, which I'll, when you come to my trading room, I'll show you. But how do you know out of all those stocks are going to give you 
the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward. How do we know at all of them which one we should trade and which one should we not? Which one we should be scared of and which ones are, are the ones we're going to watch? Well, that's what we'll cover in our trading room. But I just want you to tell you there is no big secret. By the way, I'm going to go back to that stock, A-T-E-R, the one I know some of you were here earlier. Look at the stock is doing, okay? Do you notice what happened? It's still going higher, all right? And you know what? I'm going to bring up this right here. You know why? It's because buyers, buyers, and buyers. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit, all right? Now, how did the stock really move? Okay. Was it news? Was it company fundamentals? Was it buyers and sellers? Was it, I don't know, was it some technicals, some RSI, MACD, and everybody that used the MACD, they all jumped on and it caused the MACD with the Elliott wave and they all crossed and I don't know, you know, all this crazy stuff. Or is it all the above? All right. You know what it was? Buyers and sellers. That's it, Gloria. You're right. That's what it is. Buyer. Now think about this for a second. You're sitting there and you're learning how to use all this stuff, all right? If you were just able to see the buyers and sellers, which makes probably about 70 to 80% of the stock's movement, how much smarter and better trading decisions would you make today? You know how I know this? Because that's what I used to do for a living, Okay. I learned, I learned and I worked at some of the biggest brokerage firms in the industry. And I could tell you this, you're not going to beat them. But there's one thing you can do. You could join them. You could watch them. Stop playing to be an analyst like other people out there. I'm not here to bash anybody, all right? But the thing is this. Some of you here, and there's a lot of you here that said you're doing an options. I got 48. Look, I'll share. I'll share um, I think I'm sharing the results there, right? Look how many of you are trading options, futures, Forex, investing. Let me explain something to you. If you're not making money after two, three months for what you're doing, you're wasting your time. Okay? You're literally wasting your time. All right? And, I, and I'll prove it to you. Any, any, any business owners here? Anyone here hire employees? Oh, my God. You have to go through 40, 50 employees before you find one. You think you're going to still pay the guy a year down the road and he's not making you any money? Or how about you that took a job? You know, and you're doing it for two, three months. You're like, oh, you know what? I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. Let me just quit and go find another one. And you know what? Why? Because you're looking out for your best interest. Well, this is what the problem is with trading. If you're not making money trading any of those industries, there's two reasons why you're failing. Number one, you have a, you have a sucky mentor, guru. Or two, it's not for you. But I could tell you number three. Number three, you love it. You love it. You just didn't find the right person how to do it. And hopefully this is going to change the way you look at trading. So let's go right into how do we find and know how they go up and down. Now, does anyone here have level two quotes? Just give me a yes or no. Anyone have level two right here? Lori, you don't. Ro, you do. Okay. Frank Malak, I didn't hear from you. So let me start picking on you. <laughs> Chuck, no, no, no. A few of yes. Okay. Now, just please keep in the back of your mind, okay? The way things go up and go down, just always please remember this because I'm going to ask you several times, buyers and sellers. Just remember that. What you're looking at right here, for some of you don't know what this is, this is called level two. Every brokerage firm, well, majority do offer it to you. This is just live data of where the price of the, the stock is at, okay? And I'll briefly just cover it. These, this is the bid, which is your buyers. And this is your ask, and that's the sellers, okay? So you could see where the buyers are and the sellers are. Now you have two columns, one, two, and three. The first column is a four abbreviation of the brokerage firm or an exchange. The second column is the price that they want to buy it for. And the third column is the amount of shares. Whoever wants to buy for the most is up on top. Whoever wants to buy for less is down at the bottom. Pretty self-explanatory, okay? Now, 
The problem with it, level two is that it's outdated. It's been outdated since the 90s. Shoot, we're in, we're in 2000, 2020. Yeah, it's, it's been outdated for almost 20, 30 years. All right. Why is that? I'm going to show you why. Because there's something called level three. Now, um, at the end of this presentation, and when you guys register to come and join me, you'll watch actually a video. I am a, I am a, uh, a featured guest at the NASDAQ exchange because they have me to teach everyone how to use something called NASDAQ Total View. Okay. Now, why? Let's think about this for a second. This is the NASDAQ exchange, right? Why did they need Fausto? Because Fausto's being one of the original day traders, and that's all I use. You know, sometimes it's nice and better to hear from an outside third person than just hear from the exchange. Okay. So I'm going to show you exactly what it is and how it works. But before I do that, I'm going to do a poll. I'm going to ask. I just want to find out. Does anybody here have level three access? Anybody here have it? Uh, I'm going to do a poll. Howard, just do the poll. All right. Just waiting for you guys to fill that out. Now, if you do not answer this question, whatever your reason is, I'll just take it as a no. All right. So let me end the poll. And let me share this for you. All right. So you could see 85% of you, 85% um, of you said no, 13 said yes, and about half of you did not answer it. So I would probably would say that number is about 95%. 95%. Now, remember what I told you before we continue. Trading is about an 80 to 90% failure rate. All right. Now, what I'm about to talk about right now is going to be really disturbing. Not in a bad way. It's because you're going to be like, what the hell was I doing this whole time? What was that person talking about that training? I spent thousands of dollars in training. Why didn't he talk about this? And I'll tell you why. Because they're not traders. They never worked for a trading firm. All right? And that's what we're about to see. So let me explain to you and watch how simple trading is. This is the exchange. You have a seat on the floor of the exchange. Okay? What you're looking at right here is every buy and every sell on the NASDAQ exchange. We're looking at a stock called BVUS, all right? This is what we call an ECN. An ECN is an electronic communication network. This is what allows you to place bids and offers. So you could see all your buys and all your sells. You can compete against Goldman, Merrill, Shearson, all these people. You have a seat. Now, just please let this sink into your head. You have a seat on the exchange, and you don't need those online brokers anymore, okay? Because you could place those orders, but better yet, you could see everybody around the entire world that's trading that specific stock. So now you're able to see the money, all right? Now, you could purchase this. I don't work for NASDAQ, okay? Um, you can go right to the NASDAQ data store. I could I'll just tell you point blank. I would rather you not buy it without going and let me show you live in the market how to do it first, okay? Now, just think about this for a second, fellow traders. Quick question. How much smarter and trading decisions would you make if you're able to see where 70 to 80% of where the buyers and sellers are? Now, you think that you're smarter than the 70 to 80% of the buyers out there and sellers? You know what? I got news for you. You're probably in the wrong business. Okay? Stick with your old day job. But if you really think that there's something going on, the dark pools, the high frequency trades, the algorithms, all that, here it comes in. Okay? Now, we're looking at DraftKings. Now, DraftKing, you could see it went from $18 this morning and came all the way down and it dropped to a whopping $16.50. That is a pretty substantial loss if you own that stock. But for some reason, it found what we call a 
support level. And when it found that support level, the stock went from 1650 at roughly close to one o'clock and then went all the way up until the afternoon, went all the way up to about $17.40. Now, why did it stop at 1650? Why not 16? Why not 17? Hell, why didn't it go up? Why did it go down? Why did it pick specifically that number? Is because of one reason only. There was a 124,000 share buyer at 25, was at $16.50. Think about that. $16.50. Now, do you, are you telling me that you know more than that buyer out there that's looking to buy close to about $2 million worth of stock? And by the way, there are seven different orders around the entire world that make up that 124,000. I mean, you want to compete against that guy? Okay, no problem. Let me know how that works out for you. And for the ones that want to know how it works out for you, you do not want to miss the opportunity when I show you in the trading hours how that works. Now, let's look at the stock going up. RRD started the morning, went from 580, went all the way up to 11 o'clock and then just stopped. And it hovered there for not one, two, several hours. Why? Because what makes a resistance levels are sellers. And if you look at the sell side, there are a lot of sellers at every single price level. But if you work your way down, you'll see that there is a substantial seller right smack in front of your eyes at 75,000 75, 75, shares at seven bucks. So if you just had the game plan of knowing where all the sellers are and were able to sell it right before them, how much smarter does that make you? Okay. Think about it. How many times have you done a trade and every time you buy it, well, not every time, but sometimes, as soon as you buy it, the thing goes down. And then as soon as you sell it, it goes up. And sometimes you're like, you're just convinced somebody's watching you. Well, I got news for you. It's not that they're watching you. You're just not watching them. If you were watching them, then you wouldn't know where to get in, where to get out. Your problem is that you're looking at some indicator or some platform or you listen to somebody's, you know, telling you a stock pick or something like that, which, by the way, we do not do here at Cyber University. We do not make recommendations, okay? We teach you how to make your own recommendations and you to think for yourself. But if, and the only thing we do tell you is, hey, did you see the 75,000 share seller out there? You know, what do you think? What would you do? You think it's going higher? All right. Let's see how it works out with that 75,000 share seller out there. Now, does that seem hard? Am I, am I, am I Rock and Voss and, and Julian, is that, does that seem hard? Lori says no. Does that seem difficult? It's not. It's not. How confusing is when you listen to somebody that has a vocabulary that blows you out of the water, has like a PhD, sounds very smart when you start showing you indicators, this and that. But how much more sense is somebody who's able to talk your language and use the metaphors to kind of explain it and like, hey, I don't care what the hell that person says. I'm just following the buyers. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you can sit there and figure out all you want and you got your six monitors. This guy just showed me how to do it on one stinking monitor. What's the problem with that? All right, everybody ready to have some fun? Let's, let's have a little test, all right? Let's have a little fun. Um, is this stock going up or down? Let me do a poll. Let's have a little fun here. Up or down? It's a very simple question. By the way, another thing, if you can't answer this question, you should quit trading. This is, uh, this is not rocket science. This is kindergarten 101 charts, okay? Row's laughing. Uh, listen, Ro, I, I, you know how many times I, I literally have to just, you know, sometimes I'm a little brash, and it, it's only because I care. You know, listen, I come from, you know, I, I didn't come from a family that pat you on the back when you get yourself in trouble. 
Maybe we need it the first time, but the second time and third time, you don't get it. You know, <laughs> we've all had kids and we all know what that means. So the correct answer is this. Let me end the poll. Let me share the results. All right. And the answer is the stock is going down. All right. It's not, it's not that complicated. All right. Now, my question to you is this. What is going to make this stock go up? What's going, to make, what's going to make it to go higher? Rose says buyers. Julian says buyers, buyers, buyers. Wow, that is great. You guys are catching on pretty quickly. Look at that. I didn't even teach you how to trade yet. We've just been talking for about 20 minutes. Does a chart show you the buyers? Do you see buyers on the chart? I don't see a damn buyer on it. This is the past. We need to look at the future. Well, you could just scrap that. I'm hopping over here on NASDAQ. I'm going to look at the exchange. And I'm going to work my way down. I'm going to look for the biggest substantial buyer. And then right smack at 1685, I've just found a 126,000 share buyer. Okay? Now, there are buyers at 17, 1699. You know, well, that's, I mean... 100 shares, 1,000 shares, 3,300. You're talking 126,000 shares. Um, Ro has a good question. Are those orders uh, ever moved? We didn't get there yet, okay? And let me just tell you something about spoofing, which you just mentioned. Two things. First of all, it's illegal, okay? And the, and the SEC will find the crap out of them if they catch you if you do it. Secondly, if you think that you're dealing with a bunch of liars and cheaters and spoofers and scammers, do yourself a favor, quit trading, okay? Because why would you want to be in business with a bunch of liars and thieves and crooks and, and spoofs? Because I hear that all the time. And people always tell me, oh, how do I know this guy's canceling? Oh, how do I know that I heard about this? It's spoofing. Listen, you just got to know how to play the game, all right? You just got to know how to play the game. I don't know how that, they, they, you know, they, there's this thing. It's a double-edged sword, all right? Yeah, so th there's things that could be done on one side, but if you know how to use the other side of the sword, then you'll win the, you'll win, you'll win the fight. People don't know how to play the game. And like I want to tell you, Ro, and everybody else, and I know a lot of you, but which, by the way, I'm going to do one more poll. I'm, gonna, I'm just out of curiosity for my, for my own. Um, what kind of education do you have? Are you self-taught? Did you take paid courses? Anyone have a mentor? I'm just curious. Okay. Now, I'm not going to hold it against you if you're self-taught, but if you did take pay courses, at least I know that you made an investment, which is a good thing. We actually, um, that's a good thing. But the next thing is you just got to ask your trader, who trained you? And by the way, who endorsed you? Okay. Another thing, I want to teach you another valuable lesson. Why don't you go and see if there's a Google review on the person? You'll notice that 90% of the people that are out there don't even have Google reviews, okay? We do. Go on the Better Business Bureau. We got an A rating on the Better Business Bureau. We've trained thousands and thousands and thousands of traders I've, over the course of the years. Why don't you go check on them? Ask your mentor, who endorses you? TradeStation, Schwab, uh, Thinkorswim. I'm just dating the big ones. Forget about the small ones, all right? Not that many. NASDAQ, go out there. Go see. And you'll see that when it comes down to it, it's all about following the money. Now, look what happens when we hit that buyer. Hit that buyer at 1685 and went from 1685 right back up to 17 to 40 in a matter of what? And that less than an hour? If you bought 1,000 shares of that stock, let's say – made 50 cents on that trade. You know what 50 cents is? 50 cents on 1,000 shares is $500. That's a $100,000 salary. Who, t who doesn't want that job? You know what gets me sick in? I hate to see people, which by the way, if you ever hear this, I recommend you run away. When you hear people, oh, my, the, my next millionaire student, Oh, my, my student made $6 million. My, uh, my student made 550000 You know what? For them, I'm just give you a little advice. For somebody to make that much money, and if it's even true, okay, 
They have to risk twice that. I know for a fact, 99% of you here, okay, would just be happy just to just make the same salary you made before. The, the average basic salary. Forget about getting sold some of these people that hit lotto. Listen, I've trained a lot. I've, I've met some of them, and then now they don't exist anymore because they blew up their money, all right? I teach my traders how to be very conservative, make your day's pay, and go out there and do the things you enjoy in life. Like me, start your own living channel. Like me, go out there and cook for your wife or, you know, do go on vacation. That's what's the night. That's the fun part. You don't have to make things, you know, you don't have to kill it to be successful in trading. Neo, let's look at this stock right here. Could everyone here tell me where do you think, I'm going to do another test right here. Where do you think the resistance level in Neo is? Let's see how you all answer this question. Remember, resistance does not exist unless you have the sellers. So I'm gonna give everyone a little heads up. We're looking for resistance. Where's the resistance? On the sell side. So we just, we just made 50%. I just gave you 50% of the answer. Now it's your choice to find out where that big seller is. If you don't know the answer, give me a question mark. Wow, a lot of you getting it right. This is awesome. Uh, Gloria, I have a vision of problem. It's hard for me to see those small numbers. I understand, Gloria, no problem. Um, all right. So anyway, if you said 1935, congratulations, 100,000 share sellers, which, by the way, uh, Gloria, um, you know, I haven't, was, it, was it Gloria who said it? It was Gloria who said it. Yeah, Gloria, if you have a problem with your eyes, listen, there are tools that when you're if you're a student of ours, we'll show you how to control what's over here. It's the filters that would even make things a little bit easier for you to catch. OK, so don't worry about that. We have you. We had that covered. Believe me, I had people that had cataract surgery. You know, um, a lot of my traders are between the age of fifty and ninety. So believe me, we we uh, we have that covered for you. All right. Now, going to this chart. Now remember, here's the big seller, right, at 1935. But if you look at the chart. Most of you say, oh, this stock is going out. This thing's got a double top. This thing is going to break right out. This is like when you count the charts and you got four greens and two reds. And it, there are some people I hear the funniest crap and I like laugh my ass off. You know what I mean? And you know what? Most people will go long on this trade. But I'm telling you, you better get out of that trade because if you didn't. That stock is coming down. Not because I was right, it's because there's sellers out there. And if nobody buys it from that seller, that thing's tanking on you. It's all about following the money. And what we call this fellow traders, we call these iceberg orders. Okay. Iceberg orders are big block orders. Um, I came up with that word after watching a movie Titanic. I tell everybody that. Uh, we all know about sad story about the Titanic and uh, great ship. Uh, poor management because they're more concerned about the beauty of the ship than the safety of the ship. And you know what, what happens, you don't worry about, if you don't look and have the right radar, boom, you hit an iceberg order. That's it. You just blew up your account. And that's why people blow up their accounts. They hit an iceberg orders, not even knowing it. Now, one of you came up to me and I know this is the next question. Some of you say it, I heard of their fake orders. Now I get it. Okay. Now what is a fake order? How do you know that Maybe the guy canceled an order. Listen, you could cancel an order. You could change your mind, right? But there's a tool out there. It's called time and sales. Now, this is called tape reading. I'm an actual tape reader. I was trained to be a tape reader. Um, I wish I had the tools that I had today, 25 years ago, but I had to do it. I had to do it the hard way. And the hard way is I would have to read that little ticker on the bottom of the TV that you see. And I would have to use time and sales. Now, the time and sales are the confirmations of transactions that are taking place. If they're going off on the bid, they're going off on the offer. So, and by having the colors, we could see if the, the sellers are getting done or the buyers are getting done. 
Sellers are getting done will become up in green. Buyers getting done will come up in red. Red means going down. Green means going up. Now, we're watching Twitter here, right? And you could see that Twitter had a big resistance levels at 50. Okay? We all know about Twitter. We all know about Elon Musk and all that. Um, how do we know the stock will continue to go higher? Well, look at the time in sales. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Green, 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 green. That's what it's all about. Same thing when the stock is going down. We see support levels, and then all of a sudden, like, how did that stock break support levels? I don't know. Look at the sell, sell, sell. Red, red, red. 3,000, 7,000, 2,000, 1,500, 10,000, 4,900. You know what? You could think it's support all you want, but we all know supports and resistance levels can be broken. Even though we see those big buyers and sellers out there, how do we know that those orders are getting executed? Buy time and sales. A lot of you here, I know I've trained, you know, um, people that train and what I've heard. They're like, I have time and sales, but it moves too fast. And I get it. You know why? Because two problems. Number one, you're trading a fast stock. And number two, you got your defaults wrong. Do you really care what you trade or you just want to make money? You think every time I do a trade, I go downstairs and tell my wife, say, hey, I bought this. I bought that. You think she, she, she would divorce me already. She would be sick of me. All she cares about, did you pay the kids college? Okay. You know, so they have to take more loans out. Can we go on vacation? Can we do things together and have a, you know, have a happy life? Like they say, happy wife, happy life. Trading's the same thing. Because it'll basically pay the salaries and, and help you pay your salary to make that money you want to make. But the reason why people fail is because they're not watching the money. They're not watching those orders. So it's time to stop pretending to be an analyst and start becoming a trader. Now, we just talked about level three. Now, if you remember in the beginning of this presentation, I showed you something called level four. Now, this is level four. We are looking at a heat map because there are not, there's just not one exchange. There are several exchanges. You got the New York Stock Exchange, you got EDGX, you got, you know, you got um, the, the, the Chicago Exchange. You got a lot of exchanges. Now, think about this somebody might be in a different exchange to buy something, but not another exchange. But when you aggregate all those orders together, it just shows you more volume. OK, so sometimes NASDAQ total view might not be the proper tool to use all the time. You might have to go somewhere else. Maybe, you know, big institutions trading on a different exchange. OK, but this system will help you aggregate it. And not only that, but it'll show you on a heat map. It'll let you know how long the guy's been out there. It'll show you how the stock is breaking out. Like this example right here, the XTR, there's a 480,000 share seller out there. Do the math. 2,700, 1,900, 2,000, you're talking 480,000 shares, okay? Now, certain indicators might tell you it's resistance, it'll back off, but remember I told you about time and sales? What happens if that guy gets filled? The thing takes off, and it goes from 10 all the way to 1160, like that. So, add this on top of watching right here, which is right here, which is level three, add level four to that, and it's a totally different ball game. Now you now you're thinking how I used to trade on something called the Instanet machine back in the old days. And by the way, this software that you see here, I used to pay a thousand dollars a month. 25 years ago. You know what it costs today? You're going to fall off your stocks in the next few minutes because I'm going to show you how inexpensive and how much smarter and better trading decisions you'll make from today on forward by what you're about to see. So let me change my slide here and just finish on one last thing. 
what happens if the sellers want it out of a stock that you just shorted? Well, look what ends up happening. Seller, 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 seller. He kept lowering his offer, lowering his offer, lowering his offer. You ever see a stock when you thought it was going up? And like, oh, this is going up. And like, boom, why do you keep going down? And not only keep going down, but you're getting 50, 100,000 shares. He keeps selling, keeps pushing it down and pushing it down and pushing it lower. And here you are thinking like, when will this ever stop? My God, is it ever going to stop bleeding? I'm, I just held it from 1150. Now I'm at 1080. My like, crap, what do I do? Oh my God, now we're at 1050. Is it ever going to stop? Well, are you watching the big orders out there? That's what it's all about. It's all about following the money. Because you don't want to be in a stock and lose $2 in 10 minutes. Maybe you were in one, but you could have probably prevented it. Because if you're watching what the street was doing, okay, looking what, ma what, looking what Wall Street is doing and not focus on Main Street, which most people are on, you probably wouldn't have gotten yourself in that trouble. So. I'll ask it again. Was that confusing? Was that hard? Did I lose anybody? I didn't think so. I didn't think so. You're more than welcome, Bill. Thanks, John. But I'm not, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Because a PowerPoint looks very pretty. Stop. It's flat. It's not moving. I practice what I preach, and it's just not me. I want you to come and see the data yourself live. Look at some of the stocks you're in today. Let me show you how, what, what, how I would see it as a trader. How about if you're in a position right now, which I know a lot of you have right now, and you're still contemplating, should I sell it now? Because you're like, damn, I should have sold it last week. I should have sold you last month. You know what? Now you did a day trade to a swing trade. Now you're an investor. You see, it's not about the winners. It's about your losers you got to control. Okay? The winners take care of themselves. It's the losers you have to know how to, to stop doing. And I focus more on that than anything. And the only way you can do that, because you got to learn before you could earn. Now, how can we learn more? I want to invite every one of you to watch and see my traders that I've trained over the years and see if this is for you. And not only that, but watch and see not how much we make in a stock, but and don't judge us on our winners, but judge us on our losers. Okay? That's what I want to teach you. Okay, I want to show you that. So in this um, in this event that I'm going to be giving you, I'm going to give you access to watch us trade in pre-market, during the market, and after hours. Um, we do live audio broadcasts. We start at 9 a.m. because the, most, the money's made in the first hour. And we also are going to be trading at the afternoon where we'll do commentary from 2.30 to 4. So listen, I know we have people from all over the world. Maybe you're watching a recording. No matter where you are, we can accommodate you if you're an early bird or if you're a late afternoon bird, okay? But the bird gets the money, all right? Just always remember that. Now, we also have events. We're going to uh, be able to give you access to a library of, of uh, workshops that we have, Q&As, traders that we've done, traders talk, all this great stuff. And, and we just did some updating amazing change at Cybertrain University. We also even implemented a um, alert service that you're going to get. So let's say you're not at your trading desk or your computer, and let's say you're working. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll keep you up to date what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, listen, you never know. Maybe there'll be another ATER out there that might pop. So before I start taking questions, what I want to do is this. I want to get you all registered. Okay? $9. 
That's it. Nine dollars. The nine dollars that you're going to get is th- is this. You are going to get one week in my trading room, live. It's all online. Whatever you can't make, it's going to be recorded. You are going to get um, live workshops. You're going to get uh, traders talk video. And as a bonus, for the first 20 people register as we speak right now, I will personally give you a coaching class for free. Yeah, me, Fausto is going to be able to talk to you because you know what? When you go into the trading room, you're going to have a lot of questions and you need to know if this is for you or not. And I will make that decision and let you know what it's all about. Who will ever in their right mind do that for $9? That sounds like a joke. Like, seriously? You're going to be able to talk to education advisors, talk to Fausto, be in your trade room, watch stocks like this that go two, 300%. Yeah, you know why? Because the $9, all that $9 is, it just, it basically tells me if you're a real person or not. That's it. And then after the week, if it's not for you, you're not interested, I'll give you $9 back. I, listen, I don't need your $9. I am looking for traders I could train that I can make six figures with, okay? And if you liked and thought what you understood now, click on that link right now, register right now, and we'll get you in there. And like I told you, oh, no, we're not going to do that. One person was asking me, um, what about after a week? Are you going to bill me like most other scammers? We do not do that, all right? Listen, if you don't want to continue with Cyber Train University, don't worry about it, okay? We're not those kind of people that are going to scam you and, and lock you in, this and that. I don't do that, okay? Listen, I am looking for traders that want to watch what we do, go in there for one week, and be able to judge us that if we're the right fit for you, all for a lousy, stinking $9, okay? So um, just want to do a couple of shout outs because I see a lot of people registering as we speak. Well, somebody pretty fast. Now, this is very important, um, and I'm going to read off a couple of names that are here. People are registering. Um, when you register, there's going to be a, a questionnaire, like five questions. Please fill it out to your best of your knowledge. Let us know if you, you know, who your broker is. Have you ever heard of level three? You have it. Who are your mentors? You know what I mean? Are you taking education? Um, this just helps us with the process of your application to let you know when your education advisor talks to you that we know what to tell you, what you need to see, and what you don't need to see. Okay. Very, very important when it comes to that. A um, couple of shout outs really quick. Daniel Hall just got your registration. Uh, Ross Harris has got your registration. I just see you starting to come in right now. Uh, Michael Sloman, we got your registration. Cindy Smith, got your registration. Welcome aboard. Andy O, just got your registration. Wow, you guys are pretty quick. All right. Now, in the meantime, um, any other questions before we uh, move on? Uh, do I have to start tomorrow? No. Okay, so... Listen, you cannot access the trading room until you talk to education advisor. Uh, you could start on Monday, okay? Um, Friday, the market's closed. As you know, it's Good Friday. And, you, you know, but um, you just you tell the education advisor we're ready to start, and they'll give you access to the trading room. In the meantime, you will have need to watch a couple of little short little videos because when you go into the trading room, you're probably going to be confused, Okay. You might not know the lingo. We want to make you to have the best experience as possible and let you know that, if there, if, that this is the right way to learn how to do it, and we are the right fit for you, okay? But I can't teach you how to make money in an hour. I could just make you drool and spark your interest. Uh, a couple other people have just registered. Uh, Andy V, I just got your registration. Oh, Raphael, is that you? Raphael T, they're from Italy, right? Is that you? I got your registration. Okay. I saw you earlier. Uh, any other questions? How are you? Are you registered already? Okay, great. Well, welcome aboard. Uh, Lori has a question. How long uh, da daily are your watch charts? Um, I usually keep it at, at a minute. Um, I don't use tick charts. So I usually have two charts. I have a daily and a minute, and then I will have another one 
with the daily will show me like maybe what happened within a year. And then I'll just customize and zoom in a little bit closer. Okay. Any other questions? Um, how much is level four and what is it called? Winston, first of all, I did not see you registered. Okay. But if you really want to know what it costs, it costs $9. That's what it costs right now. $9. All right. So we'll go from there. Uh, did I miss where we get the map? Richard, yes, it's right there in front of you. The link right there, it's a ctu.co trial. That's where you get the level three and a level four from, all right? Let me go from there. Listen, the easiest thing I could do is give you the link. You want to go to NASDAQ and buy it, go knock yourself out. Just please don't come back and tell me that, you know, you bought it and you don't know how to cancel it and you don't know what the hell you're looking at, all right? Just let me show you how to drive the car. What's the... Listen, you don't even have to be there for a week, okay? You could be there for just one hour and access to it. But you got to make sure it's for you or not. A um, few other people just registering who I got. Eugene, I just got your registration. Gina, you were asking a lot of questions. I didn't see you register yet, unless you registered before. Um, how many winners do you have versus losers percentage? Mike, <laughs> um, Come in the trading room and you make that judgment for yourself, okay? I, that's what I recommend. People always say, oh, let me see your trading reports. I, what do I got to show you my trading reports? Come and see it live. Do you know that people, I've been doing this for 25 years, okay? First of all, you know how many people out there put fake uh, reports? I can could, I could manipulate with today's technology. I can make fake you know, ones all day long. And if I get caught, I get caught, right? And that's not me, all right? I've seen some of the biggest people getting in trouble in the industry, okay, because they're really desperate for business. I don't need your business, all right? You make the judgment, come in the trading room, and you watch, all right? So forget about watching, oh, you know, I made this money, made, let me see your report, winners versus losers. Pay the $9, and you'll get to see the whole report live, okay? That's the best way to kind of judge somebody. Uh, what part of Italy I'm from, Lori? Uh, my parents are actually originally from uh, Calabria. I'm first generation Italian. So um, love it. <laughs> You're more than welcome. Grazie. Uh, anyone else? I haven't traded stocks before, Henry. You know what? That's awesome. That means you might not have any bad habits to break. Um, st let me tell you, when you turn on the TV, right, the financial station, what do they talk about all day? Two things. The stock market and cryptocurrency more than anything, all right? So for some of you out there like, oh, well, I like futures, like the S&P, they don't talk about that, all right? And, and we think the S&P futures are moving every day. They, 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 you know what I mean? Like the S&P didn't move as much as a ALTR or VRU that traded yesterday. Remember, you're here to make money. You're not here to trade something because, you know, oh, it's the, it's, it's the futures. It's the S&P futures. Oh, I got to trade the S&P futures. You're wasting your time. Take the $9, save the cup of coffee, an expensive cup of coffee at Starbucks, and watch, and hopefully I can make that $9 into $90,000 for you, okay? Or I'll give you $9 back. But if you like what I taught you, how to shadow and follow market makers, how to watch those institutions, those algorithms that you hear so bad about, about the spoofing you hear that's, that, that's out there, the dark pools that are out there. Here's your opportunity to learn from a 12-time world champion, and not including myself, but other my staff, my other instructors out there, and not only that, but watch the professionalism, the custom service that no one will ever give you. Because I know a lot of you out there have spent a lot of money on training, and you probably never even spoke to the, the – you probably spent thousands and never even spoke to your mentor before because they don't care about you, all right? I do, and you'll get to see that customer service. Uh, a couple other people out here. It's got registrations. want to read them. Uh, uh, Perry, um, I just got your registration. St uh, Stephen D., I got your registration. By the way, you can see everyone right there. You see all those? You can see all those are the registrations. Uh, J.H. has got registration. I like to say the last name. Drew W. Wieland, just let you know. 
from another country, wherever you, oh no, you know, you're, you're local. <laughs> Just got your registration. Once again, make sure you do fill out that, um, that questionnaire. There's only five questions. Please let us know a little bit of value. It's very important that you fill it out correctly. Okay. How much money you have in the market? Like one of the person just asked me, um, do I need to have a brokerage account? No, you don't. You don't need a brokerage account. We don't want you to trade. We just want you to watch. Okay. Don't worry about the trading rule. Don't worry about any, don't worry about any of that stuff right now. That's the least of your problems. Because, you know, you can't go into, you know, be afraid to, to do something. You, you might be like, my God, is it really that simple to do this? Listen, the only reason why traders fail is because greed and, and you know, and obviously discipline. I have a lot of my traders go out there. Man, this thing is ringing like crazy. It's great you guys are registering. Um, a lot of people out there, they fail because they just, you know, they're like, oh, maybe we'll go higher. Maybe we'll go higher. Like, like we'll teach you just like, listen, like, like we, I showed you a stock the other, um, that went, uh, went up. Let me bring it back up here and show you. All right. Let me bring this up to the beginning. Where were we? Let me bring this up to the beginning and show you what I'm talking about. Where were we here? Here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, let me just do this. It's just faster doing it this way. Uh, Right here. Okay. So let's look at this one right here. All right. So this stock right here went from $6 to 14, right? Did you really need to make 6,000? But I had the stock at seven. Oh my God. I could have went to 14. I should have held on to it. No, no, because you know what? If you made 54 cents, if you made the dollar like Chuck made, you make a dollar a day on a thousand shares, a quarter million dollars. You don't need, because you know what? If you bought it at 16 and now it's at 13, you would have lost $2. We teach you just how to make the money and run. That's it. You don't got to kill it. That's not how you do it. All right? You don't have to. That's where people get themselves in trouble. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. And by the way, once again, first 20 people registered, get a free coaching class with me. All right? Hearing this thing ring like crazy. Drew, just got your registration. All right, we got uh, Julie got your registration. All right, guys, listen. Um, when you register they, and when you log out, there's going to be another video. It's going to come up. You're going to watch me on the NASDAQ. You're going to like this video because it's going to be the video when uh, the market we had this big crash with the, with the, when the coronavirus hit us. And we're going to show you some of the stocks, the, um, the vaccine stocks, how they popped. I'm going to talk a little bit about level two and how, or level three, how it works. So enjoy that video. And you know what? And I would look forward to seeing you all in the trading room when you, when, as soon as you talk to your, as soon as you talk to your education advisor. So thank you very much. I'm glad, Lori, thank you so much. I'm glad. I appreciate it. Raphael, thank you. Uh, Bonanotte for all of you. And um, see you in the trading room. All right. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy. And thanks for coming.